I praise the Lord. I hope you're well and all is well with you in Jesus' name. I wanted to share today at uh, Jeremiah 31 where it talks about the love of God and it's just simply, it's from uh, verses um, halfway down to three, from three, sorry, to four and it says, I have loved you with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness I have drawn you and continued my faithfulness to you. Say that again, it says, I have loved you with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness I have drawn you and continued my faithfulness to you. And when that, my attention was drawn to this and I was uh, thinking about this, the love of God, just the love of God, Time to go. you know, thinking of the love of God, how unconditional his love is, you know, his love is unconditional and he loves us all the time, even when we go wrong. So I want to encourage you today that if, if, if you're, you know, don't doubt the love of God for you, don't, let's, let us not doubt the love of God for us. I think sometimes we can put conditions on like oh God loves me if I do this and of course we need to be in obedience to the Lord and live for the Lord and shun all sin and live according to his word yes that's true he requires our obedience that's true but when we go wrong like I think we can put conditions on that on the love of God without realizing that you know actually the Lord says it's unconditional love I've loved you with an everlasting love you know, so know today that the Lord loves you and that, you know, even when we go wrong, the Lord is still there with his love and waiting for us to get back on track with him and to get right with him and, and to give our hearts to him. So be encouraged today to know that the Lord loves you, that there's no conditions on the love of God and, and, the, love, and the love of God is unconditional and permanent and eternal. The Lord says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you and continued my faithfulness to you. So the Lord is always faithful. Be encouraged to know that he loves us and he's so faithful and that he doesn't stop in his love uh, or, faith, or, or, or faithfulness when we go wrong. You know, he still loves us and he's still there and he's still, he's still waiting to, you know, to, to usher us on into our God-given destiny to get right with him and brush ourselves up and get on with what he wants us to do. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that your love is unconditional. We thank you, Lord, that you are faithful, Lord. In Jesus' name, help us to know that, Lord, to meditate on that today, that we know that your love is unconditional, to meditate that your love is eternal, your love is everlasting, Lord, and that you always love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.